mentoring and coaching are so much a part of my world on a daily basis that I forget how rare it is for people to have mentors and coaches. Welcome to another episode of Conversations About Conversations. Today, I'm talking about mentors and coaches. Uh, I've had the opportunity to mentor 17 people over the last 12 years. It's been an extraordinary privilege. And I've had the opportunity to be mentored by two really significant mentors for me over the course of my career. And the sequence was pretty lucky because in my 20s, I had a mentor who I like to refer to as my tender mentor. And I say tender because she was really tender with me. She was loving. She was thoughtful. She happened to be my manager as well. And so when she would point things out to me in a very tactful way, when she would send my emails of achievement on to not just her manager, but her manager's manager and all the way up the chain, it was really, really good for my ego. But at the same time, she was able to very softly knock me down when she'd see something I did that made no sense at all. And certainly, I was an overconfident, young, know-it-all person back then. Now, and maybe I'm some of that way now, still. Uh, in my 30s, I had a mentor who I wouldn't refer to as a tender mentor. I actually came to refer to him as my tour mentor. When I would tell my father the experiences that I would have with this mentor, especially in the early going, he would say, he just doesn't sound like a mentor. He sounds like your tour mentor. But my tender mentor and my tour mentor have played a huge role. I now am, I'm very, have a good, very good relationship with my tour mentor, and we use the term tour mentor in a, in a very affectionate way, if, you, if so to speak. But my tender mentor really helped me with people skills. She really helped me with the soft, softer side of interpersonal relationships. Um, when she was in sales, she had her ABCs. It was appointments, work with your branches, and make sure you have your calls. So for her, it was all about the, the art. Then my tour mentor was much more scientific. He was hard. He was disciplined. He, I'll never forget the time when he watched me uh, go on to a, a few different conversations, schedule conversations with clients. And after they didn't go very well, he said, I don't know where you got the idea that you're good enough to wing it. You are not good enough to wing it, which was kind of harsh at the time when he said that. But the problem was I wasn't good enough to wing it. And I still, to this day, remember that. It's kind of like in the back of my head. And anytime I try to wing it, I, I'm totally clear. I am not good enough to wing it. Not that because I'm not good. I'm great. I'm great at my job. But because we really if we really, really care about the results that we want to get with our clients, our colleagues, our management uh, managers, then we want to be prepared. There's really no excuse. So I would say that a transformation occurred over time. My tender mentor had me focus on listening versus talking. She had me focus on uh, making sure I was getting feedback from people versus just my bravado overcoming everything. Whereas my tour mentor was really got me from thinking, well, I'm good enough to wing it to always being prepared to when I would need to go into some interpersonal situation where there might need to be conflict, always go in with a plan. Uh, or he'd say things like, don't spend your bullets before you have to, knowing that I would have several things uh, in my arsenal really for want of a, of a better expression. I'm not a big fan of military um, metaphors, but at the same time, uh, he was a retired military person and sometimes these metaphors work very well. I would say a, a transformation can occur for you too, but the question I would ask you is, do you have a mentor? Like I've had the benefit of having two 
really substantial ones in my life. But I know most people don't have any. So do you have a mentor right now? Do you have someone who will spend the time with you that's necessary for you to have that transformation, get the results you're looking for, get the money you want to be making, get the achievement you're after? All things that require, if not a mentor, uh, require coaching, require good management. There is a huge amount of demand for mentorship and not a lot of supply. And because of that, I am doing something about it. I've launched Conversations, the course, to address that need. It's an eight-week course. It's got uh, group coaching sessions. It's got one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. The way you would find out about it would be to go to www.conversations.biz forward slash preview. The preview course is uh, five modules. It's 40 minutes. You can click on that right now and uh, watch that and have a good idea of what Conversations the Course is all about. And if it's something that really can fill the need that you have to get mentoring, to get coaching, to get information that you don't already have or need in order to get where you want to go. So thank you for being a part of this conversation. Again, it's conversations.biz forward slash preview. If you have any questions for me, I can be reached at Ivan at conversation. Uh, conversations.biz. Again, it's conversations.biz forward slash preview. Uh, thanks very much for joining me in this conversation about conversations.